Good. Good morning, morning. guys. Morning. Literally, good morning. Yes. It's a, almost one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, about, it is, huh? About twenty minutes, it is. So, guys, um, we're not doing a devotional because it's almost one in the morning. Yeah. But it's I'm for holding, a good. I'm holding them up. It's for a good, <laughs> good reason, though. Yeah. Because. One of the biggest things at House of Rest is we really try to put a lot into our Good Friday service. Mm -hmm. And every year we try to just outdo ourselves. You know, I mean, it's something we enjoy. Yes, it's beautiful and... Yeah. You know, it's, um, it's a bittersweet moment. Yeah, and... It's like, um, we run it like it's a funeral for Jesus. Yeah. And I think it, it kind of sounds weird, but it actually, no, because it makes Resurrection Day so much sweeter. It sure does. You know, and, and we like to do this. It, it, it shows people, like, sometimes I think that we know about the crucifixion so much that we kind of just gloss over it. Yeah. You know, and I'll never forget the... This is what gave me this idea is is the chaplain at Terminal Island. Oh really? He um I was doing time in Terminal Island in Long Beach and the chaplain said he was gonna do a special service for us. We had to get special permission to go to the chapel because it was at night. Mm -hmm. And usually we can't go to the chapel at night. And um basically he um he he put red lights everywhere, he blocked off all the lights outside and we walk in and all you hear is the whipping from the passion of the christ really i didn't know that you got that from me yes wow. and as soon as i walked in i started bawling man because just the atmosphere changed and it felt so heavy and um it was a beautiful thing because he opened it for anybody to come and a lot of people that didn't go to church don't go to church weren't christians they came you know, because they had heard that he was going to do something special. And ever since then, um, when I got out, I've, I've done it. I, You've I, kept that I, tradition. I, I carried the tradition because yeah. it, so, it made such a powerful impact on me that I every every year I hope that it makes the same impact on somebody. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and man, and then when, so we had Good Friday service there. And then on Sunday, he had all the windows wide open, the lights on. I mean, it was just amazing. And I don't know, it just did something for me. So and that's then, why we do and it. And then I came along and then I brought my little tradition. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know? So no devotional guys, but it's for a good reason. Hopefully if you're local, you're gonna come. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you're a couple hours away, please come. Yeah. And if you can't, it's gonna be live streamed. Amen. Amen. We can't wait to see you guys there, family. We love you guys. We pray mm -hmm. that you guys have an amazing, an amazing day. Enjoy your coffee. Um, comment down here anyway. Say hello to us. Yeah. And, you know, it always encourages us when you, even when you just say hello to us and you just, you know, when you just talk to us and, and just say some encouraging words and just say a prayer for us, you know, because we're going to need that uh that prayer for today a little bit of strength that extra strength for the day you know because we got a mm. lot going on guys so um just say hello to us and say some encouraging words we'd love to hear from you okay guys yeah and for those of you that don't know in 2013 i recorded a i did a christian rap uh and i called it good friday and i did it from like as if i was the apostle john like as apostle john was a rapper Oh, wow. And um, so some of you know about it, some of you don't. So go to the description box. The link is going to be there. It's a rap song I did in 2013 um, from the perspective of the Apostle John during the crucifixion. So check that out. Amen. All right, guys. See you later. Okay, guys. Back to mobbing. Bye.